some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. You know, it's been a couple days since we've listened to the trials and tribulations of poor old Chile de Castro. So let's go ahead and uh, hear what that poor little lost soul is doing in that deep, dark, dank dungeon that, uh, well, he, I'm sure all of us are quite... Uh, well, not happy he's in, but you got to describe the emotion for yourself. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, Team DLV. This is Chili Castro calling you from the dungeon in the Clark County Detention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Shut up. I beg your pardon. I said shut up. As in close your mouth and stop talking. Oh, come on now, Captain Riker. Uh, let him talk. Uh, he might have something interesting or profound to say. But then again, maybe not. I'm an innocent man who's been convicted of a crime I did not commit. I'm a journalist who was arrested for filming a cop. This is my daily update. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. I just want to take a second and say thank you to everybody who's been with me along the way, supporting me. This is a rough ride. This is really hard. I know it is. Thank you for standing strong with me. I got some letters here. I got one from Joe. I got one from Steve. I got one from Freedom. I got one from Bunley. I got one from Anna. Thank you so much. I got one from Mark. I got one from Lisa. I got one from Elizabeth. I got, I got one from uh, from Australia. I got one from Chris. I got one from... Let me keep reading some names here. Lisa, I got another letter from you. I got one from Nacho. I got one from John Locke. I appreciate it. Love that name, John Locke. I got so many. I got one from Kenneth. I got one from Bruce. I got one from Alan. I got so many letters here. I can't go through all of them, but I'm trying to. I got one from Gladys. Thank you, Gladys. I got one from Ed. A couple from Ed, actually. I got one from Dan. Thank you. This is just the ones that I have in my hand here. There's so many letters that I have them stacked in two different folders. I just want to say thank you to you guys for writing me. I appreciate it. It's, it's, it's a difficult ride for me, to be honest. And I know it's a difficult ride for you, too. You know, to, to go from somebody who's such a strong leader to where I literally have to ask for some people to help me. It's, it's really horrible for me as a person. I know it's a, it's a role reversal for you guys as well. Sheer fucking hubris. Boy, oh boy. Uh, you certainly are full of yourself, aren't you? You calling yourself a leader? Uh, dude, leaders are not self-proclaimed. Leaders show you how to do things by example. Leaders don't leave you behind in the field to uh, fend for yourself, which is something that you have done on a few occasions yourself. Leave people behind when the money runs dry. We stand strong. We don't stop. Remember, this. I have 10 weeks left today. 10 weeks left until my appeal, which is 70 days. 70, 71 days. So I'm calling it 10 weeks right now. 10 weeks. Next week, there'll be nine weeks. The week after that, there'll be eight weeks. Maybe the week after that, there'll be seven weeks. We don't stop. Listen, I know this is hard. Yeah, given uh, your uh, record in court, I really doubt that uh, you will be let out early. If you actually think that you're going to be let out in the next 10 weeks, you say? Yeah, I think that's nothing more than uh, a pipe dream on your part and a way to uh, get your ignorant followers excited. Oh, he'll be out and we'll be playing that Monopoly board game or whatever it is that you've come up with. Oh, yeah, a constitutional law scholar. Yeah, probably not even worth the... Uh, material it's printed on. Yeah, I can see that when it comes out, it'll be another dumpster fire like your, uh, like your, uh, trifold. Believe me, I know it's hard. I know that you guys have donated and that everybody is, is just, there. It, it's, you know, this is the reason why we're petitioning, you know, because you're allowed to petition and say, hey, this man shouldn't be in jail. He's a journalist who didn't do anything wrong. He filmed the cop. He should not be in jail for filming a cop. Obviously, there was bias against me. Oh boy, Chili, you are really stacking up the bullshit, huh? I mean, it is so high, it is 
right up at your neck at this point, which explains a great many things about why you are, well, incarcerated right now. You know, the fantasy world that you live in, that you expect everybody else to buy into, that you're a persecuted little boy and that you're innocent and everything like that. We all know that's BS. And so did the judge. She's seen a million people like you. Well, not quite a million, but you get the idea. And for clarification's sake, by people like him, I mean grifters. Not journalists, but grifters. Obviously, I got an unfair trial. It's obvious. Everybody can see it on video. Even the merits of the trial, when I was asked to step back, I did. So this is hard. This is not going to be easy. I need you to hold on tight. I need you to stay with me and stick with me and help me get through this because... Remember, a leader is nothing without people. You can't do anything unless you have people. And so you are the we. You are the power. You are we, the people. We are united. And, you know, I'm reading this book, and I'm breaking down Spirit of Laws by Montesquieu right now, and it goes into three different kinds of government, a republican government, aristocratic government, and a despotic government. And you can really see the parallels in the despotic and the monarch governments when it aligns itself with socialism and communism. It's almost exactly the opposite of what Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand teaches in Atlas Shrugged. And you could just see the parallels. And I can see so many things that I didn't see before. One of the biggest things that I see is time management. Um, Chili, can you at least finish your thought and your comparisons before you move on to another tangent at this point? Because... Well, you were at least trying to explain something. I don't know what it was. It wasn't a complete thought, but you seemed to be forming something. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, that's one of your biggest problems is you don't think things all the way through, do you? When I was free and I had my own time and I was doing what I was doing, there was times I could have had time management done a little bit better. And, you know, you may be able to parallel this in your own life. There's probably things that you're putting off that you just keep on saying, yeah, I'm going to get to that, yeah, I'm going to get to that. And then you don't get to it. And that's what constitutional law scholar was for me. I had this idea in my mind, but I just didn't get it done. And it's been almost two years that I've been saying I'm going to finish constitutional law scholar. But then every time the fork in the road came for time management, I seemed to find something else to do. So it seems to me that you've got some sort of attention deficit disorder along with an extreme narcissistic personality disorder uh i'm just guessing right here i'm not a certified uh, uh clinical specialist or anything like that i mean i've studied psychology but you know uh it's just my opinion but which may explain why your trifold is such a pile of crap i mean you're you claim that you make uh, you study all this stuff but yet Everybody who's uh, taken a look at it uh, can tear it apart uh, fairly easily when you actually get down to doing the research, which, uh, yeah, makes me think that you lack the focus uh, to even put it together and just scribble things in and call it a day. Yeah, that's the problem right there. You weren't focused enough to get that done correctly. And truly, now that I've got it all mapped out, I think it will be one of the best things that I've ever put forward. It will build my pride, my reason, my purpose, my self-esteem, and I'm really excited to get it done. And I I can't wait to present it to you guys and show it to you and actually how it works because I have all the pieces built before I even get out of this dungeon. So, you know, back to you. I know this is hard for you. I know it's difficult for you. I know that there's, there's the other side is celebrating that I'm locked in a cage. You know, that's not who we are, though. And we are not bad people. We are good people. We are the people who, for justice, who are for truth, who are for transparency. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> that's why I ask you, when you petition the court to release me, do it with respect. Do it with deference. Do it, do it immaculately. Do it, do it pure. And all you do is write on a piece of paper. Release De Castro. He's innocent. This is injustice. And that's your entire petition. It doesn't have to be a great big letter. And I'm not asking you to write some great big letter. You could send in two or three petitions a day. 
You can send as many as you'd like. You're more than welcome to petition the government for redress anytime you'd like. Uh, Chile, you do realize that's not how the justice system works. They're not going to release somebody that's been convicted based on a bunch of petitions. It still has to go through a process. You still have to go through appeals. You just can't be set free because you started a letter writing campaign. Are you that freaking stupid? But remember, be above the fray. Don't be negative or hateful or spiteful. Listen, this sucks for me. Today, specifically, was really hard. You're stationed two feet away from another guy, and you're locked down and told what to do constantly, constantly told to shut up. Today was really hard for me. It's been an extraordinarily taxing day. I've had to put in my erasers, erasers in my ears, and use the other end of a, an eraser. You stick it in your ear, and it blocks out most of the sound. Oh, poor little guy. Don't you just feel so sorry for him? Well, to uh, put it bluntly, dude, who the hell freaking cares? Have you ever worked a day in your life where loud sounds are the norm? I mean, I worked in a, a tire shop for a few years where you could barely hear anything good because of all the pneumatic uh, equipment uh, that was operating. I know a guy who worked in a smelting plant who uh, let me know that when you walk into that place, you had to have special uh, hearing equipment because there was so much noise pollution around. So, Chili, shut the effing hell up about the uh, loud noises. You are not in a daycare center. For that matter, it'd probably be just as loud in a daycare center. But I had to stick my erasers in my ears a couple times today and just ignore people around me because... You're dealing with the homeless, and you're dealing with the mentally ill, and you're dealing with people who are recovering from drugs or just coming off drugs inside of one room, and there's 70 of us. I don't think I've been outside in a couple of weeks. I haven't seen the outside. I haven't seen the sun. So while this is hard for you to listen to me from the dungeon, and it's hard for you to see me at the disadvantaged position where I have to go online and e-bag and say, help, i got to hire a lawyer, and to see me in this position, to be me right now is really hard. And you know what? If people want to celebrate that, they're welcome to do that. But I'm going to get out of here one day if I live through this, and I'm going to come out stronger and better than ever. Bullshit! Bullshit! Because I have more purpose now. I have more reason now. My self-esteem will be stronger and bigger and better because I will have lived through this. Remember, people get taken out of here on a stretcher every day. So I have to live through this first. I have 10 more weeks. So this is really, if you think listening to me on a video and and hit the like button, everybody hit the like button, put in the comment section, OTVO, Overturn Terry versus Ohio. I'm in here because the cop went on the stand that said he didn't feel safe because I was standing too close. That's Terry versus Ohio. So if you think listening to me on here is hard for you, imagine what I'm going through. It's really hard for me, really in a struggle, in a big struggle. There's 70 different personalities in this room right now. And everybody has age and weight and life story. And there's a lot of people in here who are straight up crazy. And you, Chili, are certainly one of the more crazy ones in there. I mean, come on now. You actually think you're going to be out of there in the next few weeks? Yeah, uh, that's a load of BS right there. Uh Delusions of grandeur all the way. You can't even get your uh, freaking uh, board game completed on time and all that. Yeah, time management skills. Dude, we all have problems with that. It's not just you. It's a struggle for a lot of other people. You're nothing special. So you know what? I've had it up to here with you today. I don't want to listen to any more of your whining, crying, and complaining because it really gets you nowhere in life. Now, here's the bonus content I promised you. Yeah, it's a uh, classic Long Island audit failure. So enjoy. I said she can reason the videotaping. Hi, man. How are you? Um, yeah.
Sir, we have a lot of people who um, have legal problems in this building, and so it's absolutely justifiable to ask you to identify yourself. Back up, please. Back up. I'm not, you're, I'm not touching you. Back up. It's public space, remember? Back up. Public space. Back up. Public space. Greetings. Blackheart Knight here. And today we are following a fraudster who believes it is his right to film in a secure courthouse. Okay, guys, so we passed the metal detector. We're on the second floor. This is a courtroom that they have here. Let's take a look at the rest of the building. There goes our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be a problem when we record them. Well, yeah, you're filming for your pitiful YouTube channel. They are not making any money off of it from YouTube, unlike you. And they're doing it for the security of the officials in that building and their patrons. Oh, yeah, I'm just taking some pictures and video of the building. So she can raise some video yeah. taken? Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just taking some pictures and video. And which company are you with? Oh, I'm independent. I'm independent. I work for myself. Contracting company? No, independent journalist. Okay. Yeah. This is the county clerk's office here. Sir, we don't want you recording in here. I'm sorry. We're not giving the permission to record us. You're not giving me permission? No. I'm just taking some pictures and video, ma'am. Are you video? Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking some video, yeah. But I don't want your, I don't want to be on your video. But you weren't on the video until I am right now. Because you started talking to me, ma'am, right? That doesn't make sense. I'll tell you what does make sense. You walking to that building filming everything in sight. Excuse me, sir? You can't videotape in here. Who are you? I'm, I'm security in the, uh, the courthouse. Well, let's take a step back. No, you, you, can't, you can't video tape in here. Your security? Come, are you yes. law enforcement or yes. just security? Yes, I'm law enforcement, yes. Part of law enforcement? Yes. So what agency do you work for? For the Sheriff's Department, Fremont County Sheriff's Department. Okay. You can't you can't videotape in here. Why is that? This is a public this is a public area, sir. You cannot videotape in here. Let's go. So this is a public area. One minute, 37 seconds later. So are you a supervisor here? or Pardon? Are you a supervisor here, sir? He must be a Karen. He wants to see the supervisor right now. Um, what is the security? What's going on? Oh, I'm just trying to re record and gather some news content. Pardon me, officer, but he's not a journalist. He's just trying to gather content for his pitiful YouTube channel. He just wants clicks and views so he can get that money. Content, but then the other, the other security guard. I'm suspicious. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh yeah, there's nothing suspicious about a person walking into a government building with a camera not answering questions. Oh sure, that's real natural. What makes what makes me suspicious, sir? What makes me suspicious, sir? Yeah. Okay. I'm not answering any more questions. So we got the deputy down here. Hopefully we can sort this all out peacefully. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, yeah, I'm just... Are you the deputy that this gentleman just called? He's called the sheriff's office. And can, I, can I get your name and badge number, please, sir? Your what? Your name and badge number, sir? For what reason? For what reason, officer? Isn't it enough that he's a private citizen coming into a government office building? Aren't you supposed to identify for everybody that comes through? At least that's what he thinks you should be doing right now. Because just to identify yourself to a member of the public, that's all. No, no. We're from the county. You're from the county? That's it? Yeah, that's all you get from me. Why would that be? I don't know what you're using it for. You're a public official, so you're a public servant. Right. I'm just asking you're for your name. Yeah, I figured that. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get you. I need to talk to the county clerk, I think. 
Okay. All right, let's go try and do our public records request. Much later. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Um, yeah, I'm here to do an open records request for this for the county. Excuse me. Public records request. I'm sorry. I just no one knew what that was upstairs. So. Are you filming right now? Yeah, I'm. I'm taking some pictures and video. That's great. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say you can answer her. I thought maybe it was my banker. So I came down there, but it's not. Okay. Well, you have to fill out a FOIA request. Yeah, that's. Okay. Do you, Do you have one here? Uh, we don't have a form. Do I can just write it on a piece of paper. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Um, are you in charge of the gentleman upstairs? Yes. The security. Uh, can I just get your name, sir? Sure. You're the sheriff, and your name, sir? Bruce. Bruce. Okay, Sheriff Bruce. Um, th the security upstairs were, you know, escalating the situation. Wouldn't identify themselves to me. I'm trying to explain to them that I'm just an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Um, they told me that it was, I, that I wasn't permitted to record in publicly accessible areas. So. Well, well there are some security yeah, concerns. There are security with that. concerns. Security concerns. And you can't violate those. What are the security concerns? The security is not concerned with the building. You just can't videotape anywhere you want. That's for sure. Any Anywhere that's publicly accessible or a public area, I can no, record. No, it's it's like I'm doing right now. In fact, you need to stop doing that. I need to stop recording? No, I'm, well, I'm not going to. I'm, this is... There's nothing illegal about what I'm doing here. I'm just recording. Well, what's your name? My first name's Sean. Can I get your name, ma'am? Sure, it's Bruce Ludwig. Oh, okay. What's your last name? Sheriff Bruce. Uh, I don't want to give any per, um, personal identifying information, only because yeah, I'm still... Identifying information from us. You only gave me your first name, Bruce. Oh, my last name's Sloan. Sir, we What's have a lot of people who um, have legal problems in this building, and so it's absolutely justifiable to ask you to identify yourself. Pardon me, ma'am, but this is Sean. He's a well-known YouTube law expert, and he can tell you right now that you don't have to identify yourself in a secure courthouse like this. So buzz off. I just told you my name is Sean. I'm working on a story. The reason why is is that I don't want to compromise the story before it's published. That's the only that's the only reason I don't want to compromise the story I'm working on before it's published. So who are you working with? I'm an independent journalist. That means I work for myself. Where are you based on it? I don't want to give any identifying information, just not to compromise my story. That's all. Well, it's appropriate to ask you to exit the courthouse if you are not willing to identify yourself. That, that, is, that, that, is not, that is not accurate at no, all. That is accurate. Uh, this is a public building. I have a right to access the public building. How are you doing today, sir? No, you, you don't. Do you, get, do you get everybody's ID when they walk in the building, sir? Or is it just because... No, that's, that's not true at all. That would be a violation of the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution, sir. You should know that as the sheriff. Yeah, the right to search and seizure. You can't seize my identity. <laughs> you can't seize my identity. Okay, come on. Okay, don't don't put your hands on me. If I do, if I do, I'm trying to do a FOIA request. I'm trying to do a FOIA request. I have a right to access public information. Yes, I do. This is I'm a journalist. It's called. The, you ever heard of the First Amendment, ma'am? Okay, so the First Amendment. What does it give us? The freedom of press, correct? Well, so you're trampling on my freedom of press. It gives us all the freedom of press, too. All right, come on. Will you arrest me if I do not leave the building? Uh, what is with these frauditors, anyway? They seem to have delusions of grandeur, like, like being arrested will give them some high praise and clout. I need to, I need to, we need to be clear, because you're, 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 you're we need to be clear. I just want to be clear, because what, ne what happens next is a federal civil rights lawsuit, ma'am. Okay. And it's and it's on you. Well, here I'm asking you to leave. I'm, I'm giving you can I can I get your title? To leave. Can I get your title? And then I will leave. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to leave, please. So if I do not leave, you will arrest me. Yes. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? We have to keep it up, and you'll see it on the criminal report. Keep going. Uh, am I not making an attempt to leave, sir? Slowly, but yeah. Okay. Are you going to tell me to run? No. Are okay, great. So I will make my Watch way. Out. You're going to hit the wall. I will make my way. It's kind of hard so your to see name where is you're Sergeant going. Bennett. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard you, to see where you're going. You are a. You work for the sheriff's department here. Yes, sir. Why are you violating my constitutional rights, Sergeant Bennett? 
Who's asking you to leave, sir? I have a right to access this building. This is a public building, sir. And I'm giving you a lawful order to leave because you are making everybody uneasy and you can't allow them. Uneasy by you. recording? Yep. Keep it's, on. A, it's a First Amendment protected activity, sir. Keep on. It's a First Amendment protected activity, sir. You're making a big Keep mistake on. here. You're opening up your county to a federal rights, okay. federal civil rights lawsuit. Where are you from? That doesn't matter, sir. Well, you asked me about United, my questions, and I can The United States Constitution. You asked him all. Well, the United States Constitution no, 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 doesn't no. end in West Virginia, sir. No, you're 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 going about this all stupid. You're asking me for my name and my name or my unit number and everything. Well, what's yours? What's your name? My Where name is from? Sean, sir. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where do you live? Like Greenbrier County. Where do you think? Because I'm dumb and deputy in Greenbrier County. Where do oh, you okay. live? Gotcha. Where do you live? So you're kicking me out of a public building, aren't you, Sergeant? Where do you live? Back up, please. Back up. I'm not. You're, I'm not touching you. Back up. It's public space, remember? Back up. Public space. Back up. Public space. Keep Get out walking. of my face. I'm public walking. space. Get out of my face. Public space. Keep walking. There Think you you're real tough, don't you? Look at that way. You're gonna regret this. Okay. You're gonna regret it. It's all good. Go Promise ahead. you that. This way, please, sir. You just violated my constitutional rights. How? I have freedom of press. I'm a journalist. I have a right to access this building. Our okay, net is the security. Actually, you know what? I need to see your your ID right now, please. For what? I'm investigating the incident. What incident? What's the they crime? Called because What's your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime, sir? Suspicious person inside the courthouse making everybody uneasy. That's not a crime. Give me your license. That's not right a crime, now. sir. License Can I speak right to your now. supervisor, please? License. You just talked to him. He was a sheriff. License, please. Go get the sheriff, sir. No, license. I didn't commit a crime, sir. You license. just said I didn't commit a crime. License. What's what a crime have I committed? For one, you're making everybody uneasy. That's not a crime, I sir. I didn't say it's a crime. I said it's an incident. I'm investigating an incident. incident. But you need reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime to demand ID from me, no. sir. If I get caught on anything... Don't put your hands in your pockets. If I get caught on sir, anything... Sir, my hand is not in my pocket. Please calm down. Pockets. Please calm down. Listen. I went into a courthouse. I don't have any weapons on me. Listen. That's a good, real investigative work you're doing there. When anybody... I just was in a courthouse. When anybody <laughs> calls for cops... That requires an investigation. Uh, and sir, he's trying job. to demand ID from me. Please, Sheriff, let him know. He's trying to demand ID from me or he's going to arrest You're me. You're out of the courthouse now. So. Yeah, so go back to work. Do what you need to do. You're not but getting if, my ID. If you come back in again. You're not getting my ID. Yeah, for trespassing, correct? You're trespassing me from the building? No, you just need to identify yourself. So I can't answer in the courthouse answer. without identifying myself? Is that what you're saying? Now, that's correct. No one else does it. Why Why do I have to do it? You are refusing to. You're the one video. Because it's a First Amendment protected activity. Sheriff, you are going to regret this, Sheriff. You are making a big mistake. And you were never going to get my ID. None of you were. What a bunch of tyrants. Wow. What a bunch of tyrants here in West Virginia, man. Well, that's the end of the video right there. He just calls them a bunch of tyrants and walks away. But what is it with these frauditors? They seem to think they can just walk into any government building, even if it's secure. They seem to think they can just walk into any secure government building and film at leisure. Well, that wraps it up here, folks. And until next time, don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a good night, good day, or whatever. Thanks for watching. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley.
You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?